Work. Now excuse me while I go throw up. <laughs> Ouch for you, dude. Chaos is inevitable. Here I go. Mega this butt. Sure, I take like 10 selfies a day.
Well, okay then. Okay, now don't go screwing around. Where's Mr. Mackey? Quit it, kid! You're the new kid, right? Oh, great. Thanks for coming. Have a seat. As your counselor, you can talk to me about anything, okay? I understand you want to talk about sex. Mm -hmm. Okay, see, I'm highly trained in um uh, sex issues, okay? And you don't have to be afraid. Okay, new kid. It's, it's really simple. When, uh, when you want to talk about your sex, you simply... You can start by simply saying, you know, I'm, I'm a boy or a girl or other. Boy, right, exactly, you got it. Now, new kid, this might get confusing, but listen close, okay? If you were born a boy, that's called being a cisgender boy, okay? Or cis for short. But, well, you, you might have transitioned into being a boy. You see what I mean? If you were not born a boy, but now a... I d identify as one, well, that's called being transgendered, okay? Or trans for short. Okay. So, um, do you identify as being cisgendered or transgendered? Okay, can you just hang on a minute? I need to call your parents. Just take a second. Uh, hello, this is Mr. Mackey, the school counselor. Yes, hi. Uh, I have your child here in my office, and well, He's just let me know that he's cisgender. That means he identifies with the sex he was assigned at birth. Oh, you knew that? Okay. Well, no, no, it's it's fine. I just wanted to make sure that you knew he had other options. You know, you don't you don't always have to go with the first hand you're dealt. Okay. Yeah, no, that's that's great. That's great to know. Uh, I think I can really maybe be of help from here on out. Uh, thank you very much. Okay. Bye bye now. Okay. Well, I'm really glad we had this talk. As a cisgendered male myself, I know how hard it can be out there for a boy who chooses to love someone of the opposite sex. Just remember, love is love, even if you're a guy who happens to like titties. Okay? <laughs> Just be careful, okay? Because there's there's a lot of people out there who don't accept you for what you are, and then you're gonna have to deal with them, okay? So, uh, but come see me anytime. Okay, where do I need to go now?
You're new, huh? Better keep tabs on you so you don't screw around. Come back tomorrow, eh? Well, well, well. If it ain't a cisgendered boy. We don't take kindly to your types around here. Let's welcome this thing to our town. I'm gonna punch you straight, just like I did Dale that one night in 94. I'll have you in stitches. Now you see me? Go, go. America, love it or get your ass kicked, socialist. Oh. That settles it. Beating you kids up was definitely the right decision. My two blank mouth marks are agape in amazement. Dude, you are trying way too hard. Yeah. Tough break, but hope. You're burning like that Bible bush. If you actually read the Constitution, you'd understand it's my patriotic duty to fuck you up. I've had it with this shit. Your punches make the blood pool nicely under their skin, Super Craig. Prime for drinking. Well, dude. Well, hello, new child. I haven't seen you before, but you come at a crucial time. South Park is sliding into moral decline. Someone's stealing our cats. They're TPing houses. Okay, maybe it's not full on Armageddon yet, but we do need a hero. Not to make the heart sell, but do you see yourself as a good person? Well, I can understand the confusion, but there comes a time when we need to choose our path. Will you find Jesus and take the righteous path? Or maybe you'll walk the middle way. Let's not talk about the third alternative. I'm hoping you're part of the solution, not the problem. Take the first step, my child, by entering this meditative chamber, which will allow you to confront your deepest fears. Face your fears, new child. Face your fears. Your dad fucked your mom. You afraid of the dark? Snakes? The color blue? Ooh. Oh, hey! I am in your imagination. Just a friendly Catholic priest who would like to get to know you a little better. Yeah, yeah that's right. I'm totally in your imagination, too. About to give you a shoulder rub. Ever imagine you'd feel something like this? Let me adjust the lighting in here a bit so we can get some visuals with that. I guess 
guess this one likes it rough. No complaints here. That. God's grace is totally filling me. Bless you, child, for I have sinned. hands and sing kumbaya with me Good. hide and seek huh do i get a kiss if i find you You bastards showing up. Well, you're definitely going to hell now. Get out of here! That's not what the Queen Spider says. I'll go say 10 Mel Harry's. Well, gosh, I feel just awful about all that. Tell you what, a rabbi friend gave me this macaroni picture. In times of trouble and tribulation, use it to call upon the prophet Moses. Good luck on your spiritual journey, my child. Morgan Freeman was God. Oh, yeah, I remember. Remember when Christians cared about the sick and the poor? Sure, I remember. New kid, you've done a decent job so far. Come back to the coon layer. I think we should advance your character. Coon out. Let's do that one mission here.
Okay, you're approaching the hideout. Find a way in, but be careful. He's probably armed to the teeth. Thermal imaging is showing the suspect is in the rear of the house. You should have him in sight. Hey, who are you? What are you doing in my house? Engage! Engage! I don't know what you're doing in my house. Stand your ground. Ah, what's wrong with you? Look, I'm just defending my castle. Return fire! <laughs> Get the hell out of drugs. my house, goddammit! And nobody is going. Okay, sure. <gasps> okay, kid, I'll give you a pity follow. What the heck? <gasps> Thanks. Let's see, if I was a kitty, where would I be? You're making a big mistake messing with Kunin, friends. Go nuts, new kid. out if you keep this up. It's disease spread time. We got right. uh, it's all fun and games until we're the guys bleeding from our eyes and assholes. It's my turn now. Have your boyfriend massage that for you. Take your medicine, Forthies. Now and needing to punch you was one of them. Oh. You're oh. a fucking mess. You owe me big time. It's crack time. I mean, super crack time. Mega fist punch a room. What? Six graders can't die. We're immortal. Yeah, I saw that coming.
will. Maybe keep your mouth closed next time. You guys are kind of scrappy. You gonna cry now, Forthy? Here I go. Omega Crunch Extra. Righteous. That's going to leave some scars. Fast pass is on the starting block. Work. Now, excuse me while I go throw up. I can't say no to kicking some forthy ass. Ah. Ah. Took that like a champ, forthy. Ah. Okay, here we go. Need to get somewhere fast, you kid. I could have taken like seven million selfies by now, like literally. Good, good going, new kid. Catch you later. Fuck. You. Mom. Ah, new kid. Come, take a seat. All right, well, how's it going out there? Okay, good talk. Uh, well, listen, I think you show some potential, and uh, I'm gonna upgrade you to somebody's sidekick or something. Congratulations. I just maybe wanted to talk about your superhero character a little bit. Um, your character sucks, to be honest, and I think I'm gonna let you dual class. Let's pick another ability to add. So what kind of skill set are you looking to add to your repertoire? Cyborg. Psychic. Elementalist. Cy Cyborg. More machine than man. Hey, I think those two will work nicely together. But now we're gonna need to change your backstory, too. So let's go back again to that fateful night. Back when you were little. You did lay awake that night, but the reason you couldn't sleep was because you wanted to make the world a safer place. You walked to the mirror. You looked in the mirror and wondered if anyone would ever love you. And then you heard a noise, but, but it was a baby crying. Out in the hallway, you saw two guys attacking a helpless baby on the floor. You had to stop them from hurting that baby, didn't you? You knew you had the power to stop them, and so you called upon your newly discovered power. Power surged through your cybernetic appendages as you focused on your prime directive. 
protect the baby that, for some reason, was loitering in your hallway. Hey, what are you doing here, kid? But little did the intruders know that you weren't just any kid. You had been cybernetically enhanced with a suite of shocking abilities. You demonstrated the first of these abilities on your victim. Hey, you can't just knock him back like that. Yeah, what gives? Hey, wait up. The charge you left on the freezer yeah. jumped to his allies, damaging all of them at once. But you still had many more cybernetic tricks up your sleeve. Yeah, I'm so enraged right now. Somebody needs to hit this little shit. The intruder took a swing at you, but your block absorbed the damage. I'm, I'm so pissed. Thugs tried to keep their distance, but they weren't prepared for your next power. laid into you. It was time to bring out the big guns. Oh, man, yeah, that's good. He's more machine than man. And so you beat them. You swept the baby up in your arms to take him somewhere safe, and then that's when the unthinkable happened. You saw your dad. Fuck your mom. Then on, you had to live with the fact that because you were busy helping a baby, you couldn't stop your mom from being fucked by your dad. That's heavy, man. I'm really sorry. I know you probably want to know why. Why your dad fucked your mom, but those are answers you'll have to find for yourself. Cooney Prince alert! Cooney Prince alert! Seriously, guys, alert! Alert! It's a Cooney Prince alert! This is Coon, what's happening? It's the Freedom Pal! What have they done now? Just get to Main Street! We're coming! Coon! Ah! Well, new kid, looks like you might be needing those newfound powers. Follow me! Time to waste, butthole. This way, butthole. Towards the bus stop. It's the quickest route. My coon sense is on fire. Freedom Pals is on the move. Confrontation is brewing. Yes, this way. Keep going. Towards the bus stop. Man, escort missions are the worst. God damn it! So close. Head towards Main Street, butthole, and gird your loins for battle. Yes, a little further. God, I feel like I've been waiting. We were supposed to be a duo, remember, Tweak? Yeah, I remember. So when I walked out on Coon and Friends, you should have walked out with me. I like Coon and Friends. Because you had your own movie. Thank 
glad you're here. They're really going at it. Super Craig had to have movies before Wonder Tweak was introduced. It made no sense otherwise. Your whole group makes no sense. Because you're a traitor, Tweak, and now you're with a group of super traitors. This was started by you. By people who thought there should be preferential treatment to certain heroes. We aren't the ones who walked out of the fucking franchise, Mysterion. Eric, you must listen to me. Right now, I'm speaking to you telepathically. Get out of my head, Timmy. Your franchise is going nowhere. Face the truth, Eric. You guys are kind of douchebags. He just called us douchebags in my mind. He did? All right, you son of a bitch. I mean, not literally, because I don't dance. Let's, let's punch. Let's take things fast. Now you see me? Fuck you, dude. It's Civil War, dick. You. All clear. It's my turn. Make a fist punch. only working for himself, new kid. Life is punishing you for being a dick, Tweak? No! I'll have you in...
Here's what I think of your freedom, pal. Are we done here? Good job, new kid. You're really getting the hang of this. Hey, wait. What about Ko? Oh, shit. Come on. Dude, what happened? Timmy got away? He, he completely raped my mind. You okay? No, seriously, you guys. He fucked the shit out of my brains. Uh, I grabbed him. We fought for a little bit, but his, his mental powers are too strong. So we did all that for nothing? Not quite. I got Timmy's cell phone. You did? There's sure to be a lead on that. Let's get this back to base. Super Craig can analyze it. Uh, hello. Is this the little superhero who's getting all the followers on Instagram? Your presence is requested at City Hall. The mayor of South Park wishes to speak with you. Don't make her wait. Somebody call for a f fast pass? Hello, young person. I'm the mayor of South Park. You must be very excited to be here. Well, all right, look. You might be able to help me. This new crime wave in town, it isn't a coincidence. Some group or someone is trying to make me look bad. The more crime goes up, the more people start calling for my head. Whoever is behind this wants to see me get replaced. I need people like you. Please. Find out who was behind the crime wave in our town. My political life depends on it. Cancel all my meetings today! Uh, you don't have any meetings today, ma'am. Excellent. Keep up the good work, Aid. What kid doesn't love a photo with the highest ranking official of their municipal government? <laughs> Very good. Now run along, little constituent. Let's take a picture, future voter. <laughs> On behalf of the entire mayor's office, thank you for your support. Why, yes, I love engaging in social media activities. It's so important. <laughs> Great, maybe I'll see this one on the social media. I'm the f f fastest kid in town. Catch you later. Okay, I'll be ending this episode here. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.